गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज स्टर्नोक्लीरोमेस्टॉइड मसल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ओरिजिन इंसर्शन नर्व सप्लाई एंड एक्शन ऑफ द मसल एंड ऑल्सो क्लिनिकल कंडीशन एसोसिएटेड विद दिस मसल सो द ओरिजिन ऑफ द मसल टेक्स प्लेस इट हैज टू हेड्स ऑफ ओरिजिन दैट इज द स्टर्नल हेड एंड द क्लेविकुलर हेड एंड मसल का जो नाम है स्टर्नो क्लीडो क्लीडो इन एनाटमी इज फॉर क्लेविकल इट इज यूज फॉर क्लेविकल सो द स्टर्नल हेड टेक्स ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द मेन्यूब्रियम स्टर्नाई दैट इज द सुपीरियर लेटरल पार्ट फ्रंट ऑफ द मेन्यूब्रियम स्टर्नाई एंड द क्लेविकुलर हेड टेक्स ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द मीडियल वन थर्ड सुपीरियर सरफेस ऑफ द क्लेविकल सो इन दिस image we can see the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle this is the sternal head taking origin from the manubrium sterni this is manubrium sterni this is the front portion of the manubrium sterni and the superior lateral aspect this is these these two are the lateral aspect this is the medial aspect of the manubrium sterni so the muscle the sternal head of the muscle is taking origin from the superior lateral the front aspect of the manubrium sterni and the clavicular head is taking origin from the medial one third the medial one third portion also uh, the superior surface of the clavicle it is taking origin from there and both the heads will blend together they will blend together in the middle of the neck and in between these two heads there is a small triangular depression and that is referred to as the lesser supraclavicular fossa so both the heads this is the sternal head and this is the clavicular head and the two heads will blend together they will become one in the middle portion of the neck and in between the two head here this small depression this fossa is the lesser supraclavicular fossa because this is small in size so lesser it is above the clavicle so it is supraclavicular and because it is a depression so it is known as lesser supraclavicular fossa इंसर्शन ऑफ द स्टर्नोक्लीडो मैस्टॉइड सो जो मैस्टॉइड है वो इसका इंसर्शन का पार्ट है इंसर्शन इज इन टू फॉर्म्स वन इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ थिक टेंडन और वो थिक टेंडन जाके इंसर्ट होता है इन टू द मैस्टॉइड प्रोसेस एंड द लेटरल सर्फेस ऑफ द मैस्टॉइड प्रोसेस फ्रॉम टिप टू द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर सो दिस एयर इज द मैस्टॉइड प्रोसेस just be behind the external acoustic meatus is the mastoid process and this muscle with the help of a thick tendon it gets inserted into the tip of the mastoid process and the lateral surface of the mastoid process it also takes insertion into the superior nuchal line which is present on the occipital bone that is the lateral half of the superior nuchal line and this insertion is with the help of a thin aponeurosis that is a flat tendon gets inserted into the superior nuchal line so this is the insertion this is this is sternocleidomastoid the origin as well as the insertion is behind the external acoustic is the mastoid process so with the help of thick tendon it gets inserted into the mastoid process and the thin aponeurosis extends behind and it gets inserted into the superior nuchal line especially the lateral half the lateral half is the portion that is located towards the ear nerve supply of the muscle is the motor nerve supplies by the spinal accessory nerve and it also receives branches from the ventral rami of c2 and c3 that are responsible for the proprioception the arteries supplying this muscle are the superior thyroid artery suprascapular artery and the occipital artery action of the muscle when one head when only one head contracts the chin moves to the opposite side and the head is tilted towards the shoulder of the same side so head bend hota hai towards the shoulder of the same side and chin moves to the opposite side 
एग्जैक्टली जैसा इस इमेज में आप देख सकते हो दिस इज द एक्शन ऑफ द स्टर्नोक्लीडोमेस्टॉइड वेन दी वन हेड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वेन बोथ द हेड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट ड्रॉज द हेड फॉरवर्ड्स एज इन ईटिंग एंड लिफ्टिंग द हेड फ्रॉम पिलो तो पिलो से जब हम हेड को लिफ्ट करते हैं दैट एक्शन इज परफॉर्म्ड वेन बोथ द हेड ऑफ द स्टर्नोक्लीडोमेस्टॉइड मूव टूगेदर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टूगेदर एंड द हेड इज ऑल्सो ड्रॉन फॉरवर्ड इन द मूवमेंट ड्यूरिंग ईटिंग विद अदर मसल ऑफ द बैक दैट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट कोलाई मसल विच इज वन ऑफ द डीप मसल्स ऑफ द बैक इट विल फ्लेक्स द नेक अगेंस्ट फ्लेक्शन सो इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फ्लेक्शन ऑफ द नेक एंड इट ऑल्सो प्लेज रोल इन फोर्स्ड इंस्परेशन clinical condition a very very common uh, clinical condition that uh, is associated with the spasm of this muscle is known as torticollis tortuous means twisted and column in anatomy is used for neck so a twisted neck is what torticollis is in this condition the head is bent to one side and the chin points to the opposite side and there is great stiffness pain uh, the movement is limited restricted and there is excessive pain this condition is caused because of the spasm of the sternocleidomastoid muscle which is supplied by the spinal accessory nerve so one muscle is the sternocleido other is trapezius trapezius is also one of the muscles of the back so both these muscles will eventually the spasm in these muscles will lead to the condition that is known as torticollis so there are three types of torticollis and these types are basically it depend on the cause of the torticollis so if torticollis is due to the exposure to cold air or draft of cold air that kind of torticollis is known as rheumatic torticollis reflex torticollis if there are if there is infection in the cervical lymph nodes if there is suppuration pus formation in the cervical lymph nodes that can in irritate the spinal accessory nerve that supplies these muscles and eventually it leads to torticollis so it is reflex torticollis secondary to infection of the cervical lymph nodes congenital is due to birth injuries so that would be congenital torticollis so that's it that's all about sternocleidomastoid muscle thank you so much